Okay, so now we're going to be working on 7.4, the final assembly. This is part number two. Get into Inventor. Start a new assembly. And we're going to place our previous assemblies. So we're going to place number one. Left click, right click, OK. We're going to place number two. Left click, right click, OK. We'll place number three. Left click, right click, OK. All right, so I had problems. If you look at the thing itself, they have some connectors that go in between the, the wooden blocks. I had significant problems getting those to constrain, so I'm going to ignore those, and I'm just going to constrain them around on the edges of the box. Not perfect, but that's the only way I could get mine to work. So first thing I'm going to do is start constraining. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lock this part in. I'm going to ground it. So my center part is now grounded. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start with a mate, but I'm actually going to use the flush constraint. So I'm going to go side to side as flushed. I'm going to go side to side. I'm going to rotate them around, and I'm going to go bottom to bottom. Also, once again, still on the flush. That lines up my cars. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a mate in between. So I change it from flush to mate. Grab that surface, and this surface, apply. Grab that surface, and this surface, apply. Once again, not perfect without the connectors, but every time I've got, I've messed with it, they have failed in terms of my constraining it with the connectors. So now I'm going to go ahead and place my four wheels and my four tires. Place my tires. So you can continue to continue adding. Just keep left clicking, right click OK when you're done. And then I'm also going to place my windshield. Click OK. All right, so first thing, let's go ahead and put the, the wheels onto the uh, car. So I'm going to free rotate them around, a couple of them to get them to reasonably how they should be going. All right, for my constraint, I'm going to use an insert. I'm going to grab the outer surface and in the inner surface here. Looks good. I'm going to go and apply and do the same thing here. Outer surface surface reverse so I flop that over hit apply rotate around I'm gonna do the same thing on this side take the outer inner looks fine apply outer inner reverse so flop it back hit apply I don't know why some flop one way and some flop the other. They just do at times. Now I'm going to go and put in the tires onto the wheels. I'm going to go and use another insert. Insert all the way to oops, change insert. Use that back edge. And use the inner edge of here. First, go and apply. Same thing here. Apply. So now things should be, those rotate, nothing's moving. Those rotate, nothing's moving. That doesn't move, that's grounded, that's fine. I like to go ahead and keep moving my parts to see what degrees of freedom are remaining. Those rotate and that's it. So now we just have to finish up with the uh, windshield. So I'm going to go ahead and free rotate that around. Get it closer to what we want. All right, get, okay, I'm going to slap in three mates. So I'm on mate. I'm going to go ahead and put the first mate on that surface and in the bottom of the windshield. Scroll around. So here is the windshield. 
and this is that bottom edge. I'm going to apply that. So now we're lined up with respect to that. We're going to slide it over to the side. I'm going to go ahead and put a constraint on the mate on that portion. And if you scroll in on here, you can see where these little reliefs are. Click on the outside edge of that. We'll apply. This locks it in another direction. We're going to move it out so I can see the third direction. Another constraint. Put it on this portion once again. You have the little the little knobs that poke out. Make sure that you're uh, aligning to those. Just lost myself when in doubt, go home. So we have everything constrained. Wheels rotate. Everything's on. Everything looks reasonable. Once again, I did not do the connector portion. It fails on me every time I do that. But this is the assembly without the connectors. So file, save as, final, okay. Uh, don't bother saving any of the parts. Didn't modify anything, and we're good to go. Thanks for watching.